I've done a lot of study into cult mind control and high control environments. There's a lot of science behind this thing, what it does to the brain with dopamine and different chemicals released in your body, to the point where it can become an addiction with these IHOPKC emotions, feelings, and experiences. And so, when people leave these types of groups, they typically crash. First of all, most of these guys after IHOP, just need a very long nap for a very long time, some sunshine, some food, and rest. You're withdrawing almost from this drug. When you start tasting Gnosticism, you get a hunger, and you want to go deeper and deeper and deeper into secret knowledge. And there's just nothing practical that matters, such as caring for the physical body, work, or leaving a legacy. Why leave a legacy if Jesus is coming back any minute? And so it's this whole lifestyle that gets wrapped up into it, and you can justify it, and rationalize it. You don't even realize, till you're out of it, that you lived in this swirl of arrested development. A lot of people leave at the mental age they arrived at. You just kind of stopped growing. So there's just a lot of work to be done. A friend of mine has this visual of everything you own is out on the lawn in a giant yard sale. And you've got to say, Oh no, we're keeping this, and we're keeping that. For us personally who left, we had to go back to the basics. Jesus, born of a virgin, lived a sinless life, was God, always has been God, died on the cross, and rose again. I said to myself, that's all I know for sure. They have all their little mutations of what these things look like. They're so darn similar that you began to question everything and you began to question Jesus. But what I really found at the end of the day, is that is not Jesus that you have heard about. There are certainly some godly, wonderful human beings that love Jesus within all these worlds, for sure, but the Gnosticism, the odd and strange things that are taught, including the meanness of God, no, that's not Jesus.